The first one is that, you know, that all, while, you know, not all of our decisions are freely made, some of them are. Okay, here's where the unconscious comes in. Um, we've talked about this before, and it's, it, it's the answer. It's the answer to, to why, you know, even a partial will is, is not possible. Um, our unconscious is always active. You know, it's, it's like there's a part of our unconscious that's controlling our, our um, body actions, you know, our breathing, our heartbeat, our, you know, everything, every, all the organs inside of us. Part of our unconscious is constantly awake, naturally um, controlling that. Our unconscious is also awake while we're sleeping. So our unconscious is actually more part of our experience than really our consciousness, which is maybe like, you know, 16 hours out of the day, whatever. So the idea is, um, all right, first, all right, now let, let me go through a bit of, um, bit of uh, background on this. Now, as far back as Freud and the mesmerists, the hypnotists, we have understood that there is an unconscious, and we have un we've understood that the, this unconscious um, is really responsible for a lot of the decisions, and actually it could be all of them, that we attribute to ourselves. Um, and so what, what's happening in neuroscience and psychology today is they are demonstrating this. Before, you know, like with, with, with hypnosis, for example, they would like, they would hip hypnotize a person, give the person a post-hypnotic suggestion, and then, you know, after the person's not hypnotized, something would happen, like a phone would ring, and the person who had been hypnotized and given the suggestion would do something, right? W would do the post-hypnotic suggestion. And the, um, the way that they would determine that what they did was done by the unconscious and not by the person's consciousness is they would ask the person, well, why did you do that? You know, and they would give, they would make up some kind of reason, but the reason would never really um, understand that the only reason they did what they did was because they had been given that post-hypnotic suggestion while they were hypnotized. Um, there are other experiments in priming where basically, you know, um, subjects in an experiment are given some words that are going to like, kind of like cause their unconscious to focus on a certain kind of um, behavior. And then like they're, they're, um, they're kind of like evaluated conducting a task or whatever. And it turns out that that priming is really responsible for what they do or don't do. Okay, so the idea is if, um, well, first, okay, um, if we have an unconscious, and uh, no, much more importantly than this, all right, think about this. Um, when we say what we say, when we decide what we decide, we have to rely on something, on memories, you know. In, in other words, like, we can't make a decision just, like, with no data to draw, you know, in, in terms of like evaluating how we'll make our decision or, or we can't say anything with no, let's say, words in our memory bank, in our unconscious memory bank um, from which to draw for our sentences and, and phrases and paragraphs and all this. So that's the idea. Um, now remember, free will, the term free will means that uh, we would be able to make our decisions completely free of anything that's not in our control. Okay, so think about it. Um, we have an unconscious that is the storehouse of all of our memories, all of our words that we know, our reasoning processes, you know, our morality. And by definition, not only is this unconscious something that we're not aware of, we're not in control of it. Okay, there's no way we control our unconscious. So we have, in other words, we, to make every decision we make, we have to draw on an unconscious part of us that we can't control for the very words we're using, for the very w the words that I'm saying right now, they're just coming up, you know? <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of like what's, what's happening is that, um, you know, the unconscious is kind of like leading me to say what I say, then my consciousness becomes aware of it and wrongly concludes, you know, to the, to the extent that we believe we have a free will, that the consciousness has made the decision or has, you know, said what it said um, 
to begin with when, you know, again, <laughs> the reality is it's made at the level of the unconscious. Okay, so, so the idea is that um, whether we see the unconscious as, um, as controlling, you know, the, the very decision itself, as a lot of experiments and a lot of hypnosis has demonstrated, or as taking part in a decision um, that we might make, then obviously that, that shows how um, we can't have a free will. Because again, free will means that we can make the decisions on our own, completely independent uh, of everything and anything that we're not in control of.